Okay, so I wanted to make a quick video because I have not seen any good instructions on how to replace the batteries on the Withings Body Cardio uh, Smart Scale. Uh, I guess it's now Nokia. Um, so um, I did a bit of research and there's no real videos, but um, there's a few comments about it. Um, so basically you need a T6 screwdriver to take out four little screws in the back of the device. Um, and then you have somewhat of a challenging task. Um, essentially, um, there, e, there are kind of force sensors, um, weight sensors, um, in each of the four corners of the scale behind here. Uh, sorry, this is really dirty. Um, and right around the edge of those force sensors, there is double-sided tape. So, what needs to be done, and probably the camera's out of focus, so apologies is um, you need to work to separate the double-sided tape without damaging anything underneath. And connect it to the USB. There we go. Alright, so that's basically from nothing. There you go. Alright, so I'm going to attempt to remove this old battery without causing too much damage, at least initially. I'll probably cause more damage later. Um, so I've just uh, cut the two wires here that are connected to the battery and I'm just going to reuse them. Um, Planning to connect it on this side, well, because I have to anyways, rather than touching anything on the circuit board side. Um, so what I'm going to attempt to do is separate the hot glue that's connecting the battery on each side. Again, this is first time I've done this, so it's experimentation at this point. And then... slightly harder for some adhesive. Um, <laughs> this doesn't fit in here, so that's where I'm going to get creative. Um, and that's where you probably don't want to see what happens next. So I will sign off for a minute and then be back on. Okay, so we have done it. It was um, about 18 times harder than it probably should have been. Um, I ruined this battery. I also, well actually I don't even know if I ruined it, um, so the old battery is this one that is exactly the same size as this one. I'll link this one in my description, you can buy it in, um, on Amazon for about nine bucks, um, nine pounds. Uh, it was eight, or sorry, it said Samsung Galaxy S3 I believe, but don't, don't take my word on that one. Um, I'll, I'll check and, and put the link in. Um, I bought this one, which actually didn't fit, and I had to cut out a whole bunch of extra plastic to try and get it to fit, and it was uh, quite a mess um, and unnecessary. But long story short, um, I bought another one, and then instead of soldering, I just connected the wires and uh, tried to connect them to the existing uh, black and red wires, um, but unfortunately the existing wires were just so brittle, and um, the actual wire inside... Um, the insulation was so thin that it um, it's quite difficult and eventually I think it must have broken inside or something because I could not get a good connection at all. Um, I tried uh, everything. So um, I desoldered uh, the two interfaces. Sorry, I'm not going to uncover this because I just got it done working um, after about, about 15 attempts. Um, and um, installed these much thicker copper wires. Um, and then did the same, soldered them on here. Um, I think I mentioned this before, but essentially the um, positive is the one when it's sitting like this, the one farthest in this direction. And then if that's one, two, and then three is the negative connector. Um, so this is how it works. And um, you can actually um, take this button off of here, which is the other side. Um, and uh, connect it straight on there. Then you can do testing without having to put the back on, which makes it way easier. There's just two small 
uh, Phillips head screws uh, on either side there. Um, and then you just need to plug this little small circuit board in here and then that includes the side button. Okay, uh, there was a little button that had fallen out. So if you take off this little circuit board, uh, you need to be aware there's a little black button that sits here. Uh, when you have it incorrectly, you can hear it's clicking. Um, so I've reinstalled that. Um, now to reinstall, uh, put this back on, reverse taking it off. Um, there is double-sided tape inside, uh, slash on the different corners. Um, I'm not particularly worried, like I said, um, it kind of naturally stays together, so I'm not particularly worried about it. Um, um, needing to be replaced uh, currently. Oh, that looks like I can damage one of these seals so water doesn't get in. Um, just a watch when I shower. Um, okay, so uh, to put it back together, you need to put the two pieces next to each other. Yeah, so you just need to put the two pieces next to each other. Uh, like this. Slide the cable in, and you just need to wait till it clicks. There we go. So, um, what you can see actually is the battery is working now because when I. Okay, does zero. That's good. One year following up or so, and the scale with the new battery is working great. And, well, actually, I wait in, but um, it holds a charge for probably six months, actually. Three to six months. So, yeah, it's. Uh, not been a problem with that. With having had a different model of battery, um, it charges just fine. Um, and yeah, the only issues. You can see where I've uh, damaged the coating on the back of the glass. Here you can see that it's charging as well when you plug it in. So yeah, able to charge and uh, works fine.